Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the topic cases of called Delhi Metro Expressions like making it viable. Our friends continue about in these cases. Hello friends, uh, thank you Balaji sir for giving this opportunity. Today I am going to uh, come up with the case study Delhi Metro, Delhi Metro Express like make it viable. Make it viable means like it make it successful and run with profit. Today I'm, I'm going to overview like uh, what are the difficulties faced by DMRC, Delhi Metro Line Corporation, while you take over the dam. Dam is like Delhi Airport Metro. Uh, DMRC take over the dam, they face some difficulties like uh, like Sh uh, Shara Sharma was the director of operating of DMRC. When uh, he was sitting in office one day and he, ca he called all the key personnel like subject matter experts and who are like who have relevant experience in the domain and he called and discussing the strategies what are the strategies to implement uh, to to run the dam successful way and uh, like since the establishment of dam 2018 2008 it was uh, it, it was operating in losses continuously operating in losses and the dam runs from Indira Gandhi International Airport to the new Delhi railway station, which was 70 km, 17 kilometers away. Uh, so there are many challenges before the Sherpa, like including low occupancy rate of the dam and unsustainable revenue and an unable to meet occupancy. Low occupancy. If people won't travel in the metro, the people who are traveling in dam are very less. If the capacity of dam is 100, the people who are traveling in the dam was 60. <coughs> So they, are, so they are unable to meet the operating uh, revenue, they are unable to reach the revenue and, uh, inability of, of, and inability to meet operating expenses. The operating uh, expenses are which are occurred day to day expenses like uh, rents and uh, rent uh, utilities and uh, wages to pay the workers. So because of new metro line, also at significant capital expenditure, they invent a lot lakhs of rupees in Dam, but it's not, uh, but it's not running in a, not, not running and it's not generating a revenue. So since it's going to discuss the first Sharma to come up with necessary changes, so he decided to make a changes uh, to make the venture viable unless the reduction operating expense. Reduction operating expenses are the like the expenses which help the financial to financially improve the uh, this business. Since it, the company should regularize the cost and increase the non for revenue and, the, and attract the more people to the, uh, Delhi Metro, uh, Delhi Airport Metro. Uh, some immediate questions that has, that he and his team had to address to revive the company that they had take over. So, DM, uh, so DMRC recognized some solution like DMRC recognized that they need to convert to di to different way. The solution was the uh, like implemented in two different ways. The way of achieving the same same to improve the operating expense ratio, namely increasing revenue by reduction the cost. And revenue was generated from, uh, the, the revenue generated from the was in two sources. That is, one is for box revenue, uh, which means like for from passenger kilometer and non for box revenue, mainly from the properties of the business and leasing and advertisement on the trains and the station. And my friend Asha will continue the next part and Sneha will continue the characteristic. in the case of overview. So today I am going to explain the characteristics in this case. So there are many characteristics in this case, but the characteristics which are mentioned in the, they play a key role in that in that case. So first one is DMRC, second one is DAM, third one is AI, second one is DIAL. So DA, DMRC means Delhi Metro Rail uh, Corporation, DAM means Delhi Airport Metro. Uh, AI means the Airport Authority of India. They, they means Delhi International Airport Limited. So DMRC means so Delhi Met, uh, Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. It was started on the 3rd May 1955. So it was the first organization which introduced uh, old, cla uh, old class rail based on the rapid transit system, which all 
comfort, safe conditions and eco-friendly services in India for the first time. So it was the first uh, railway which was introduced by the Delhi Metro uh, Metro Express. So it, it, it all having all bases like air conditions, eco-friendly services, all comforts. So later it was it become a standard and benchmark for all the mass transports and for all future metros in the country. So it become a benchmark to even if someone want to make a metro policy, it was a benchmark to reach uh, this type of uh, characteristics in this. So because it, uh, because of its situations and hard and te uh, technological complex infrastructure project within given budget and time by government. And it is also run five other metro services, the red and yellow, blue, violet and green line services. Next, my friend will explain this. So, hi friends. Uh, as my friends explain the introduction of the case, I just want to uh, elaborate and brief the case. So, what are the reasons behind the starting Delhi Airport Metro Line? Uh, in between 2000 and 2010, in Delhi, the international traffic was uh, increasing largely uh, by four times it is increased and domestic pa passengers uh, flowing in and out uh, like uh, single day trips are increased by seven times. So the services related to airport uh, reaching became expensive and the, and the public issues became unreliable. That means the public uh, are hesitated that uh, when we are when we are going to airport uh, there are no services no public transport people got hesitated uh, that was observed by the government so in 2010 uh, see we, we all know that uh, some games will be conducted like olympics like that uh, in delhi the games are conducted so the government estimated that uh, all people will uh, come to like uh, come to these games like uh, athletics officials journalists staff and spectators all will come by that the traffic will be increased more uh, right now we are having more traffic but it increased more than that than previous traffic so they have identified that uh, no one more uh, metro line or some mass rapid transportation we have to require why because to facilitate the people to come airport freely so that's the main reason uh, for starting of this delhi airport metro line uh, so uh, as in the characters uh, of this case my friend explained that uh, aia airports authority of india has decided to start a new terminal to the airport that was terminal 3 was constructed uh, from uh, from uh, one of the most important business center to the airport uh, that was dam uh, and it was the dam was fun funded by through viability gap funding viability gap funding means uh, the funding which was provided by the government uh, for the purpose of social uh, so uh, societal uh, benefit things uh, and uh, public transport systems and for regarding health sectors regarding uh, regarding regarding public transport uh, for uh, the government which funds uh, for, the, for those things that is known as viability gap funding and uh, the dam was financed through public private transport uh, public private partnership using a hybrid grid transfer model uh, we all know that public private partnership that means when we are entering into some contract both public company and pri private company will uh, come together and they will uh, become as partners and they will run the business uh, so, uh, uh, coming to public, uh, uh, the DMRC and the Reliance both are combined and they started uh, establishing the Delhi Airport Metro. So, and uh, both uh, both D Delhi Met DMRC and Reliance both combined and they started uh, building uh, dam. By that, uh, it, it, it completed in 2011 and it started in functioning 2011. So after completion of construction, they have inaugurated the dam. Uh, in between 2011 and 2013 and 2013, uh, 2012 and 2013, uh, the Reliance uh, didn't run the dam well in good manner. Uh, as for example, if, if they estimated, uh, for example, uh, thousand members, let us let us think, uh, thousand members will use this. Uh, 
uh, damn, but the estimated reach is very low. Uh, hardly 100 members or 200 members are using. So by that, uh, they said to the, the, the private party who is handling the dam, they said that uh, we can't able to manage this thing, so please hand over to, uh, we will hand over to you, we, you run, they said, Reliance said. So then the DMRC, Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, uh, took over the dam in 2013, July 1st. So at the time of takeover of dam by DMRC, it was not able to generate even 25% of the traffic estimated. As I said before, it was not able to generate minimum traffic. That means minimum uh, passengers to travel in this. And uh, it also occurring the losses between 40 to 50 million every month. And the project became financially unviable. That means uh, they are incurring losses at starting. And after the, so the DMRC take over the dam and uh, after take over of the uh, dam by DMRC, the initial attempts which are given by uh, DMRC uh, doesn't give the desired results. That means not good results. The DMRC also not projected, not projected the good results. So the DMRC uh, took a two pronged approach. That means uh, while when we are performing thing, it should uh, it should uh, supposed to generate another 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 thing also. The, so they have uh, approached that to improve operating ratio. That means uh, namely increasing in revenue while reducing the cost. Here they have to generate the revenue and they also have to cut the cost. So in increasing revenue they have divided into two areas. One is fare box revenue and uh, other one is non fare box revenue. Here fare box revenue means uh, through uh, the passengers will buy tickets no, to travel. The generating money from the selling of tickets is known as uh, fare box revenue from passenger kilometers means that only. That means uh, uh, the, if the passengers uh, purchase tickets from the dam, by that the money will be generated. No, that we will call as fare box revenue. And coming to non fare box revenue, uh, that means uh, in metros we will be, we will be uh, having some holdings, advertisements, some promotional things. No, from that if the money is generated to the dam by some companies or some other people uh, that is non fare box revenue so uh, as they divided into two components uh, again they have uh, identified that what are the main main things we have to consider in this fare box revenue so they have raised five issues the first issue is uh, to increase the train occupancy so uh, this is the most important thing guys that means they have identified that uh, what, the, what are the main reasons why the traffic is not occupying by the passengers. They have, they have identified that uh, whether we are running in correct times or not, whether uh, or we, some, some development should be made and, and those things all was uh, uh, note down on, uh, they note down on a paper and they identified in first issue why passengers are not occupying. And the second issue was uh, they on price on ticket fare, whether they have to increase the ticket fare or they decrease the ticket fare. When they are working on this issue, the minimum fare was 30 rupees and the maximum fare was uh, 180 rupees. Uh, so they have identified that whether we have to increase this revenue or we have to decrease this revenue. And next coming to the third issue, they, 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 they analyze it that we have to increase the speed and frequency of the trains. That means, uh, for example, if they are currently traveling in 50 km per hour, or they have to increase the speed to 100 km or 150 km and the frequency. For example, uh, if the train is coming at uh, coming between for every half an hour, they, they analyze it that for every 10 minutes or for every 10, 15 minutes, the train should be repeatedly traveled to the same destination. So they have designed, uh, they have analyzed that frequency and speed of the train. And, uh, uh, and the fourth issue they have uh, analyzed that uh, whether the D in Delhi previously they are already having one metro line, that DMRC. They have analyzed that whether we have to merge this dam in DMC, DMRC. They have analyzed that uh, and, and uh, they, they are just analyzing all these things. And the fifth, uh, fifth issue is uh, whether the people are really willing to travel in this dam or not. First of all, they are having any interest to travel in this. So they have identified these all five issues. And coming to non fare box revenue, uh, the, first of all, when we are uh, when they are planning this dam, they, uh, they, they estimated that uh, non fare box revenue only will contribute 74% of the total revenue. 
But uh, the time of take over by DMRC, non fair mass revenue was only 7.3 million per each month, which is very low because of low occupancy by passengers. No, no, from fair box revenue also there is no revenue generation, from non fair box revenue also there is no generation, no revenue generation. So they started uh, thinking of to develop this non fair box revenue, they started thinking of uh, introducing so shopping complex or duty free sections of the airport and they analyzed issues and they found it making such a development challenge. And, and also they also identified that in non-fair box revenue, uh, in, in free space, in free space uh, they, uh, they, they, that space can be used for advertising by the private companies. And also they have, uh, they, they, here uh, they thought, they followed two project approach now. The, one is revenue generation and next one is cost, optim cost optimization. Here uh, the, da uh, the DMRC identified that in dam there are totally three costs. Uh, first one is labor, second one is maintenance and third one is energy. So uh, they had decided that uh, we have to optimize these costs uh, by through some uh, the jobs which can be outsourced by uh, from outside. By that the cost will be reduced and uh, some maintenance wherever the labor is required uh, only uh, the DMRC issued labor to dam and next energy you know, energy is all the power power uh, used to run the dam and uh, they, they identified some ways to reduce the electricity electricity consumption during the travel and in stations also in metro stations also so this is how the DMRC analyzed the dam uh, to develop and to improve its occupancy and increase its revenue and increase its viability. So coming to my ideas uh, in developing a dam, if I am in the position of DMRC, I will come into fare box revenue, I will introduce metro cards Why? because it helps a lot in revenue generation for dam and I will also at starting, at starting I will introduce that for every 20 rides I will, I will, I will give free uh, one ride. Why? Because in cities like Delhi, uh, people are all our students, employees, software company employees. They will expect all these things. If we provided all these things, it helps them for revenue generation. And I will also like to introduce some schemes by which the passenger can be benefited and which helps in the revenue generation for them. And coming to non fare box revenue, I am willing to establish a cinema hall with multiple screens and some food courts and some uh, and also an amazing game zone uh, and uh, coming uh, and also I will uh, invite the corporates to promote their company products and about their services uh, in the damn uh, space area. By that, uh, if if we follow all these things, by that. Obviously, the traffic of uh, dam will increase. By that, we can able to demand that we are reaching these many passengers every day. We are, we are uh, these many people are stepping to our station. By that, we can demand that uh, corporates know if we are promoting there, this much should be paid. We can demand by that we can generate the revenue very much in non-fair box revenue. So that's it. Thank you.